Today we continue with uh, our class here, Chod Dior. Today is class number 32. So much could you read for us? It's uh, Sefer Chafetz Chaim. And the topic is um, disparagement and ridicule. Okay. okay, so making a statement about a product that would discourage people from buying it constitutes speaking with Shanara as it could harm the livelihood of either the manufacturer or the storekeeper who sells it. In certain situations, however, this would be permissible, as will be discussed later. Uh, Note 33. Similarly, it is forbidden to make a cynical comment about a speaker that could either discourage people from attending his lectures or weaken the impact of his message. Uh, as with any mitzvah, a child should be trained to avoid speaking Lashanara as soon as he reaches the age of understanding in this regard. It is common for children to denigrate the food that they, they are served, causing hurt to the cook. Children should be trained to avoid making such comments. So, yeah. Okay, so obviously, you can't eat, like, even if the food is bad at a restaurant, you shouldn't even say anything, right? Let the other people decide if it's bad or not, right? For themselves, right? Pretty much. Things like that. Um, uh, okay. But like, what if it's like a big organization? Like, let, let's say you go to like uh, the Gap or something like that. And like they're closed, like it's not a Jewish organization, right? It's just like a big company. You can like say, ah, uh, you know, their clothes are poor, nah? Or but why, why would you, what, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you gain from that? I don't know, what if you- I mean, but they, you they would lose money because of it. You see, like, uh, even though you, you're right, they're not Jewish, but they, they're not wicked because they, they, they uh, sell things that are not, not of your style or not, not of your liking, huh? right? So it's here, here they, they say, I mean, uh, of course, we're, we're talking about smaller store, but, uh, but even in a bigger one, what, what do you gain? You understand? So other, other people would lose money. Whatever the, you, let's say your, your friend and another friend could not buy. I don't know, maybe it's, they lost uh, $150 in sales in the whole year. They're going to survive, right? But uh, but we know how Hashem operates measure for measure. Why would you need that? Yeah. You understand? So, I mean, uh, we try to stay away. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's continue. <clears throat> yes, go ahead. Since we mentioned restaurant, what's the, bo what's the borderline? Okay. Uh, because Robert Victor Miller says restaurants are good. So what's the borderline between something being a, a certain oh, amount of... Oh, sorry, sorry. Restaurants are what? A goish? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's, what's the borderline, right? Where it's goyish, but it's okay to do. For example, some people give Hanukkah presents, okay? But uh, I heard, you know, from an Orthodox rabbi, completely, completely, you know, like with that, it's allowed, right? So, but that's also goyish, 100% goyish. She admits it's goyish, but it's not that much goyish anymore. So, okay, what is so okay. yeah. All right, so about, about the, the Hanukkah gifts. So, there, there is a, I mean, it's, it's it is just a right thing to 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 give gifts uh, the whole year around. You understand? So I mean that they just uh, connected to Hanukkah, but uh, but uh, they connected to Hanukkah. It's actually not, not Jewish thing. You're right. Exactly. They started here in America. Why? Because uh, on their uh, December twenty fifth, they they give gifts on uh, on this uh, Thanksgiving. They give gifts, right? So Jews say, okay, why should we lack it? We lack it, so we have Hanukkah. So it's, uh, you're right, it's not the Jewish custom. <clears throat> but on, 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 on another hand, the kids are enjoyed, so what, what is wrong? So it says, I also just say, give kids uh, like a uh, lot of sweets, uh, when especially on holidays. Why? They, they would remember the holidays. They would uh, like look forward for, for these things. And same with uh, wives, as we know, who, who is married, right? So you, you give her presents, uh, something special. So she would she would look forward to holidays. Uh, of course, the wives do all of the cooking and cleaning. <laughs> so to offset that, uh, she would have a little uh, like a good good taste. You understand? So that's okay. <clears throat> so in regards to restaurants, how like permissible are they? I mean, if uh, if it's uh, like if if the, if, the, if, the, if there is no princess there, well, let's say orthodox uh, like uh, place. I mean. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's not that bad. So you, you, you just sit around the table with your family and that's it. With, with your company, basically. 
on one hand, if you, if, if you go with people who are not related, who are not your family, and then uh, then you sit across from this woman, even uh, as she's dressed modestly, why would, she, would you like face her? And I said, that, that's another issue. <clears throat> I don't know, me, me, me personally, I, I don't go to rest, but uh, that's, uh, that's not a lot, it's just a preference. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, now let's go to Hala. So we are in Hilchot Diot, uh, chapter seven. Okay, uh, chapter seven the Halacha is also seven. So let's read without commentaries and then then let's check commentaries. Okay, so it says a person who takes revenge against the Kalik who transgresses scriptural prohibition, as uh, Vaikra nineteen eighteen states, do not take revenge. So. Very straightforward. Even though one is not liable for lashes, for taking revenge, it is a very bad trait. Instead, the person should uh, train himself to rise above his feelings um, um, about all, all, all of the worldly things. For a man of understanding consider all things as a vanity and emptiness, which are not uh, worth uh, seeking revenge for. What is meant by taking Revenge. One second. Um, okay, sorry. Um, what is meant by, by taking revenge? <clears throat> A person's colleagues ask, Lend me your hatchet. He responds, uh, uh, I refuse to lend, you, uh, lend it to you. On the following day, the person who refuses uh, needs uh, to borrow the hatchet from a colleague. He asks him, Lend me your hatchet. And uh, the latter response, just as you did not lend, lend it to me, I will not lend it to you. This is considered taking revenge. Instead, when, it, uh, when he comes and asks you for it, you should give it to him with a full heart, without uh, repaying him to, for what he did. The same applies in, in other similar instances. Thus, uh, <clears throat> David Hamelach, <clears throat> Proclaim regarding uh, his exemplary qualities in Psalm 75, have I repaid those who have done evil to me? Behold, I have rescued those who hated me without cause. All right, so let's go from the beginning and we're going to explain. So if you have questions, comments, you can uh, stop, <clears throat> stop me. Okay. <clears throat> from the beginning. A person who takes revenge against a Kalik, against, uh, against a Kalik, transgress the scriptural prohibition, and states do not take revenge. Okay, so three. The Sefer HaMitzvah's negative commandment, uh, 304, Sefer HaChinuch Mitzvah 241. Uh, consider this one of the 630 Mitzvahs. <clears throat> one. So basically, uh, uh, some some somebody is forgiving. It's it's not like he's being nicer. I mean, he's nice. Yeah, he's nice. But it's part of our Torah. It's it's obligation. So same obligation is uh, uh, is to put fill in every day, right? So same obligation not to take revenge. So he did something to you. You always have to remember, Hashem willed it. Hashem wrote in a book, and he's uh, Hashem decided that this person should uh, uh, hurt me. And well. Whatever way, so I mean, uh, don't take revenge. It's not him; it's actually came from Hashem. <clears throat> yes. That person who did that avera, let's say he hit him, right? But then he wants to hit him back or whatever. Doesn't he also give the avera of causing a stumbling block for a fellow Jew in two regards? Because number one, he wants to give him revenge, right? He wants to get revenge, and number two, he has less be talking than Hashem because he's not thinking about Hashem once he gets hit, right? He just thinks, "Oh, I got hurt." And I want to go hit the other person again. Okay, so the, the answer to the question, I had a long, long conversation with, with somebody today, right? Not to react immediately. Just, just think, like, allow yourself two seconds to think, three seconds to think. You, you don't have to hit him back. It's, it's like a, you're not a boxer, right? That uh, unless you hit him back, that's it, you're done. No, just wait a few seconds. See what happens. See, 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 see what's going on. What, what actually happened? What's actually transpired? Maybe it's not. Uh, it, it's, it's not what, what you think it is. Understood. Stumble blocks. Uh, Hashem is going to take care of it. 
you know, don't 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 get involved basically in some in some, in some cases we, we should get involved and we should be go to war as uh, we're going to celebrate very soon the holiday of Hanukkah but uh, in many instances it's between a Jew and another Jew it's not uh, it's not about uh, revenge we should not <clears throat> Okay, unless unless uh, it, it is an obligation, if it's a uh, kill Hashem, then you you must take revenge. Then you must destroy that person. Uh, that's uh, that's a different story. Continue. Even though one uh, one is not liable for lashes for uh, for taking revenge, right? Let's see forty four. Since the prohibition does not involve deed, kill Hashem hundred eighteen one. Even if one um, um, performs a deed of revenge, the prohibition is not uh, in the deed itself, but rather on having the feeling which motivates such an art. So it's very interesting commentary. Let's try to, to explain. <clears throat> for some, for uh, when one person transgresses some of the negative commandments, he is going to get lashes. How many? You know, 31, right? 40 minus one. But um, the the lashes and the punishment, like a death penalty and other punishment, are, are only for uh, administered only for uh, for deed. I think the only only one uh, um, punishment is for thought. That if if I remember correctly, for uh, uh, thinking about avadazara, right? If if a person was thinking about avadazara, so he's going to get punished. But otherwise, only for deed. So here is, is actually when it says, the Torah says, do not take revenge, uh, revenge in his, in his mind, not the actual action, right? Uh, that's why they say he's not going to get up, uh, lashes, which is good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. When we say deed, we always mean actually like an action. Let's say someone talks, that's not considered a deed. Exactly, 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 exactly. Yeah. You would have to come. So there, there are many, many halachas, <clears throat> um, uh, that, that that we learn in this book in our, my, our morning class with Abraham, we learn others, uh, other book, but uh, we go through all of the halachas, positive and negative uh, halachas that, that forbid uh, talking lotion haram. But uh, even though there is negative, and for other negatives, you get uh, lashes, right? For actions, for eating, uh, for example, I don't know, halaf, right? This forbidden fat, or like from life. And whatever for all of these negative things that he he will get lashes. Uh, but uh, but uh, what for, for lashon hara he's not going to get lashed because uh, in some senses in, in some cases uh, halakhically halakhically the speech it's like an action, right? Well, when when somebody's married somebody, right? So he he said that the, the, you 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 betrothed to me. So and it's 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 like action is taken, right? But uh, in most of the cases, it's not. The words uh, remain words. Okay, so continue. <clears throat> Even though one is not liable for lashes for uh, for, the, for 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 taking revenge, it is a very bad trait, as we said. So don't don't do it in general. Instead, the person should uh, train himself to rise above the feelings about all worldly things. For men of understanding, consider that these things are vanity. And emptiness, which are not worth seeking revenge. So many, many times people, people are look looking for revenge, and they plan and they use so much energy and so much like a life uh, force. So it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, just spiritual to, to see it. You understand? So just remember, it's going to pass. Nobody's going to remember you. You're going to forget. He's going to forget. Everybody is going to forget about it. So like uh, pe people think like. Uh, one person told me, like, uh, we were walking to the shoe. He, 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 he was staying by me, and he said, I have this uh, spot on my, on my shirt. Right? I have this spot. Maybe I should go back and change. I, I said, look, if, you go, if you're going to go back to my house, change. We're going to, to miss a minute. He said, no, I cannot go like that. I said, who's going to look at it? Like, I, I have no idea who, who's dressed and what. Like, do, do, am, I, am, I, am I going to look at what, what uh, like, spots on the, uh, somebody's shirt? You normal? But uh, people are self-conscious, you know, so that's, uh, that's the problem. Rabbi, since you mentioned Chil uh, Hashem before, and you said we're allowed to take revenge. So let's say someone, right, let's say you're in math class or something, that to give an example. And he starts uh, wanting to tell the math teacher because he, uh, he's from, right? 
uh, he tells them, you know, the Jews actually, before Judaism, they had, you know, Canaanites, and they started worshiping, you know, uh, you know, Hashem and so on and so forth, right? All this stuff, uh, like the scientists say. So in that case, what do we say, uh, give revenge? Like, to what extent? Like, what's the borderline uh, to the amount of revenge you could get? And, and is it uh, whatever that, that person is saying it's here? I don't know if he, he's that, so he or she just took it, period. I mean, it's a, it, the person is embarrassing him, himself or herself. That's, that's, that's okay. right. Continue. Uh, what is meant by, by, by taking revenge? A person's colleague asks him, lend me your hatchet. He responds, I refuse, uh, I refuse to, lend you, uh, to lend it to you. On the following day, the person who, refu uh, who refuses um, needs to borrow the hatchet from, from, from his colleague. He asks him, lend, lend me your hatchet. And the latter responded, just as you did not lend it to me, I will not lend it to you. So this is, uh, this is a revenge. So he has it and he does not lend it. Okay. So I mean... Me personally, it, it uh, happened to me. I mean, I, I did not respond, but I, uh, I learned about it like, um, like, uh, like, uh, I, uh, like, I don't know, what was a bottle of uh, glue, like this big, like good glue, whatever, good glue. Somebody said, I need, I need to, to glue this. I said, okay, I, I just bought it like a few days ago. I will use it a few drops so you, you can use it. So, and like, I don't know, three months or like four months later, so we said, okay, can you give it back to us? I mean, why should we buy new? It's, if it's not. So a person give it to us and he did not, or she did not uh, clo close the car. So basically died the whole, <laughs> like, so here's the thing. So I, I was thinking to, to myself, next time this person comes to borrow things from me, I say, I, I don't have it, right? But it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be revenge, right? So uh, I think we all have a similar situation that we, have to work on, right? Of course, that, that person, I'm not sure if, if he knows that it dried up or did not, but it's basically irrelevant. Rabbi, right, does not taking revenge also apply to Goyim or just Jews? Um, now we're talking about Jews only. I, I think maybe Goyim, it does not apply. Maybe it does not apply, but uh, as we said about Loshan Hara also, I think it would be the same... Uh, Logic don't. Uh, I mean, if 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 you if you're going to to use this character traits, it, it it's going to be, be become part of you. And next day, next time you're going to apply it to Jews, basically. So don't uh, un, un, unless like uh, unless it's necessary to stop some some kind of behavior, but 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 you stop. But in in your mind, like you 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 may may, may um uh, uh, talk tough. And be rough, but in your mind, it's not. It's not. It's not that. You just try to scare them away, uh, to, to tell them off. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we're talking about revenge, we're doing. A, we're talking about doing an act. Is it also revenge? No, 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 no here, here they, they said the thought. Okay, even the thought. Okay, that leads to an act, right? That that can lead to an act. Correct. Correct. So, or, 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 or 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 even thought by by itself is forbidden. So right. maybe he. he he wants uh, to, I don't know, to, to hurt a president, right? For whatever he, he for, for the whatever law, law he passed. So, I mean, he, he, he has no physical ability to do that, but it's all, always in his mind. How should I get to him? Uh -huh. so, so is it the same way? Is it the same thing? Okay, so like in this example, he went to borrow an ax and the guy said no. And now this guy needed an ax and he said no, you know? Yeah, but why? Because you didn't give me. I right. That's it. Not give, yeah. Oh, okay. This is talking about like, you know, be doing something to somebody or like restraining somebody. But let's say somebody doesn't invite you to their party like twenty times, but invites all your friends, and then all of a sudden you say, "Well, I'm gonna have a party, and I'm not gonna invite him." Is that revenge? It's hundred percent. It's hundred percent. <laughs> unless un, unless you have a good reason to, not to invite, for example, not 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 a personal reason. So you you know that that this guy is nasty and he does not like uh, I don't know his wife does not like your wife for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. So now now I mean you you, you don't want to put them to, together in the same room. 
Mm-hmm. You understand? So, okay, that, that's a different reason. But just because he did not invite you, it's not, a, it's a revenge. Okay, but what if you think, okay, so you don't, you don't know why he didn't invite you, but you think he doesn't like you. So because you think he doesn't like you, you don't invite him because you just, you know, don't want to, or, or like, what, what, what's the thing? You don't no, know. But, you, uh, you see, uh, um, if you, if you want to invite people, so we, uh, we cannot assume. You can always invite him. If he's going to come, he's going to come. If he's, uh, if he said, uh, I, I don't want to come, I don't want to see you, I, I don't want to this and that, so he's not, yeah, he's going to say. I, I, I tell you, give you this example. I, I've been to different shows, right, a lot of shows, and there were like few people who get uh, married or whatever. The whole show was invited there beside me, except me. I have no problem with that. I was so, because in my mind, I, the, 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 the guy is asking, you coming, you coming to, to, to swear to this, bar, even bar mitzvah, right? Bar mitzvah, the rabbi's son. How, like a rabbi's son. I am going to the show for a year, two years, whatever. How can you not, not invite like a few people, right? So, and I pray to Hashem. I say, Hashem, I don't know what to tell him. I'm not going to, to come. And I'm, I'm not, I didn't plan to go, right? For whatever reason. And uh, that, that's it. I, I have no, no, no grudge, no revenge, no, no whatsoever. Mm-hmm. You know, so for, for me, they, they made me, uh, they, they did a favor to me. So I would, I would not have to lie and say that I'm not coming. Mm-hmm. But in their, in their mind, I mean, how we invite everybody and skip this guy? Look, Hashem, I mean, who, who needs it? I mean, who, it's, it's a waste of time. Go ahead. Right, in that situation, no, let, 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 let oh, him finish. Okay, okay, sorry. No, yeah, go, go ahead. No, 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 I, I understand. I meant like, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. In that situation in the glue where we say you said I don't have anything, shouldn't it actually be a lot allowed? Because if you say that you do have it, right, and you let him take it, it might be uh, maybe you're causing him a stumbling block because the first time you ruined your glue and he didn't have it because of that. Maybe the second time he'll also do an avera. So maybe you should say I don't have anything. Our 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 job is uh, is, is to, to be kind to the Jews, but but this. These people, these specific people, they're not Jews. And they ruined another of our uh, item. I mean, they, they asked to borrow with it, and then now they say, okay, we, we don't need it any longer, but it's broken. Like, <laughs> I mean, we, we'll, we'll survive, but uh, if, if uh, like, uh, since they're not Jews, that's an that's easy, easy case. And then we're not obligated, so basically they can go and it's, 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 it's not, they're, they're not poor people. They're not poor people. They make uh, he makes money twice as much as I was was making in IT, maybe even more. I was working in IT twice. Mm-hmm. You understand? <laughs> so so to, to 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 say that they cannot afford the glue, it's an overstatement. Okay, so but um, but even if they w- would be Jews, so it would be taken revenge. Yes, just because maybe maybe it was accident. How do you know? Maybe this time they're going to give up to like a one hour later in a perfect condition. I don't know. Okay, so don't uh, let 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 Hashem give all of the do all of the judgments, all of this uh, taking revenge. Let, let let him do it. Okay, good. So it was forty five, I think. Okay, so after forty five, this consider this consider as taking revenge. Okay, so he said, I'm not going to give it to you. That's it, 46. Uh, there is assuredly anyone who seeks to harm a colleague while there's this prohibition. However, even uh, such a refusal is forbidden. Okay, which is clear. Continue. Instead, when uh, he comes to ask him for it, he should give it to him uh, with a full heart without repaying him for what he did. Okay. Right, so that's uh, the case uh, of the group. Not, however, Hilchot Talmud Hatara 7.13, that uh, obligates the Torah sage seek revenge for any public affront to his honor. So that, that's exception. So uh, as, we, as, as we learned today, it actually was uh, in, our, in our morning class, right, Abraham? So it was, uh, we said clearly, we said clearly. So if, uh, if, it's, if somebody uh, the, affront the, 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 the Torah sage, he did not, he did not, uh, um, Disgrace him personally, he disgraced the, the, the Torah that he represents. So he can forgive for himself, his per- personal honor, but he has no right to forgive uh, Torah honor because Torah honor does not belong to him. 
Torah honor be belongs to Hashem, and he has no right. You understand? So, uh, so that's a, that's a big deal. So now, if, if somebody offended the Torah scholar, he has to go back and uh, Rambam said one thousand times, I have to ask him forgiveness. Other pre- people three times, you ask him forgiveness. He said, get lost. You get his father, his uncle, his brother, his cousin, whatever you you, you came to him and uh, asked them, please ask uh, to talk to this guy, ask him to forgive me. You understand? You you, you do one second time altogether three times and you out. But uh, with uh, Taurus colors, it's a big deal. Okay, I have a similar case uh, in another building today. Okay, let's continue. Was 47, continue. The same applies uh, in the similar instances. Commentary 48. The mitzvah's, uh, the, the mitzvah's hinak notes, Yoma 23a, um, appears to imply that the prohibition uh, against taking revenge only applies to the monetary matters. Okay. But not to cause emotional discomfort. Discomfort. Interesting. Since, um, hence, I'm sorry, hence the question. Hence, he questions the Rambam statements. Nevertheless, other commentators resolve the difficulty by offering different interpretation on Talmudic passage. So, Minhad Hinak said that maybe it's only about monetary matters that you have, you, you, you should not take revenge. So, monetary matters, this uh, um, hatchet is, is also monetary matters because it's, it's a physical object. But, um, in uh, emotional things, it could be different. Okay. All right, so continue. Does the David Hamelach proclaim regarding these um, in exemplary uh, qualities in Psalm 7.5? Okay, where it says, have I uh, repaid those who does not uh, does evil to me? So, I mean, did I ever take, take revenge? That's what David uh, is asking. Behold, I have rescued those who hated me without cause. 49. Okay. And uh, this refers to the um, David sparing uh, Shaul Hamelach, who pursued him. Though David was given two opportunities to kill Shaul, he did not take revenge and prevent, um, then prevented his men from harming the king. And Shmuel Aleph, uh, chapter 24 and 26. Meaning he had all of the opportunity and then he has all of the, he had all of the rights. Because uh, we, we know the laws of the pursuer. If somebody pursue you, you you are you are allowed to kill, to kill him. Especially, it's it's not that that he he, he wanted the show uh, pursue the, the David to I don't know, to give him bouquet of roses. No, he, he everybody knew that he he has the army. The show had an army to find and kill David. Okay, so let's start uh, By by the way. Um, Israel, I, 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 I do not see you on the screen. So if you want to speak, uh, just uh, start speaking, please. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Similarly, anyone who holds the grudge against another Jew. So uh, now, now we're talking about revenge. Now the second part is a grudge about another Jew violates a scriptural prohibition. As uh, Vaikra 1919 states, do not bear grudge against the children of your people. So we mean in what? So that's a clear answer to David's question. So it's a Jew zone, right? What is meant by bearing a grudge? Reuben asks Shimon, rent, rent this house to me or lend me ox to me. Lend this ox to me. And Shimon was not willing to do so. A few days later, Shimon came to borrow or rent something from him. Reuben told him, here it is. I'm lending it to you. I'm not like you, nor I'm um, paying your back for what you did. Okay, so that's a, that's a grudge because he still remember what the, the, the other guy did to him. Okay, continue. A person who acts in this manner, while that the prohibition against bearing a grudge, instead of doing so, he should wipe this matter from his heart and never bring it to, to mind. Okay, as long as he as he um, brings this matter to mind and remembers it, there is a possibility that he will seek revenge. Therefore, the Torah condemned the, the holding of grudge, requiring one to wipe the wrong 
wrong from his heart entirely without remembering it at all. This is proper quality which permits uh, a stable environment, trade and commerce to be established among the people. Okay, so, and then, then, then we, after we finish, we're going to read the blessing. Okay, so let's do from the beginning this commentaries and uh, these discussions. Right yeah, go ahead. Cool. If, let's say someone doesn't give me something and so on and so forth, right? It might show because, you know, simply he doesn't want to, okay? It might show that he doesn't have the best me, this, agree? Okay. Course, yes. so, what's it called? So I'm like, you know, I don't want to be next to this person. He's not giving me his this and that. He doesn't have good no, me. No, 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 I right. want to go to someone else. Mm. You see, you, you, you cannot decide by one, 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 one example what the, that, that's what it is. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I, I, there, uh, like if you if you give me an example, maybe I, I, I give you like a, like seven different scenarios why why he doesn't want to give it to you or at this time or maybe this or maybe that. I mean it's always the reason like <clears throat> as I said before we we, we tend to to think all, all, all only the the worst of these people and I I'm. I'm talking to, to, to different people and some people, they have notion that the whole world is against them. I say, why would things so? Like uh, they, they, people just mind their own business. It's not like they do not care about you. They, they care more maybe about themselves, preoccupied, the guy has no work, this and that, he has to pay rent. So he's not as friendly as before. Not so, I mean, uh, what do you want from the person? You know? I said, so many times you, we don't know what's going on in the life of the person. Maybe somebody is uh, has shallow, like was the, diagnosed with, with bad disease, and not, now you you come and, and ask uh, for for the uh, for, for 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 the bicycle. I mean, he said, please go buy yourself bicycle. Leave me alone. You have such a bad thing. So you know. Uh, so you got it? I mean, it makes sense. So we, we never know what's going on in the other person's life to judge because of that one instance. Okay, he has a bad minus, you out. You, 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 you're ready to kill the guy. Go ahead. Well, one example uh, I want to bring is what's it called? Let's say I ask someone to use the talus once they're done davening, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so on. Uh, and he doesn't give it to me. He says, no, to you, I'm not giving it, okay? That person, I'm allowed to like, you know, I don't want to be next to him anymore. That doesn't count as bearing a grudge. Maybe, maybe, maybe he, he, he thinks that, that he, you're sloppy. And uh, it, it's a special talis for, from his uh, mother-in-law. And it costs uh, special embroidery. It's uh, $900 minimum. You understand? And, and, and then maybe he thinks that you go, you're going to step on scissors. Um, I don't know. Me? Me personally, I, I don't want to give my talus to anybody. I, I take special care of the talus, so my, my personal th things. So usually I'm, I'm, my policy is if I lend somebody, so I, I in my mind, I was uh, to say goodbye to this. You know, so, <laughs> so but with this attitude, it's easier. But uh, so some person, uh, some things that I want to back, my talus, I want to back. So I'm not going to lend to anyone. But uh, it's uh, you know, not scan. There are so many of them, like in a shul. Every shul has uh, like, I don't know, 20, 20, whatever, men. You understand? At Tfilin, of course, Tfilin. I, I, see, I see what, what how, how people ha handle Tfilin. I, I, I turn away. I, don't, I, I cannot see. And they, they handle their Tfilin. So this guy uh, forgets his Tfilin and he would ask me, I don't know if I'm going to give it to him. I don't know. Okay, so, but, uh, okay, so I'll continue. Similarly, anyone who holds the grudge against another Jew violates eh, scriptural prohibition. So let's say against another Jew, 50. And the commentary is question why Rambam mentioned another Jew in this halacha. While in previous halacha, so I'll, I'll question, eh, he speaks about the caliph. So another Jew is a colleague, so what is the difference? Right? What are the difference for? The Avadat Hamelach uh, explained that this prohibition has a larger scope. Uh, vengeance is forbidden only against a colleague. So there is a peer, a person who is once on one's own level, while bearing the grudge against any Jew is forbidden, regardless of social status. This interpretation is somewhat problematic, for according to Rambam, 
Bennett Grudge is only the safeguard against revenge. Okay, I'm not sure how it makes sense, but uh, that's what they say. So I, I'm, uh, still, still we don't, we don't have answer, clear answer we don't have. So why, why Rambam there, he says, uh, Kalik or another Jew, but uh, <clears throat> the, the, the way I understand the Kalik, it means a uh, Kalik in your Torah and Mitzvahs maybe, and as a Jew, if he's um, uh, like in in a hilchos of Edus, right? In a, in a, in a words of uh, Edus, like witnesses, right? So they they discuss the people with the back character traits that that cannot be witnesses, right? So for example, gambler, he's a gambler or he's a, he's a racer of of the pigeons and stuff like that. And uh, I think. Like Michal Shabbos is, is not even there in in, uh, in the list. So the commentary side, well, why why is not there? Because they say they, these people they, they cut themselves from the nation of Israel. So of course they not, should not be not allowed to be witnesses, right? So but we but we're talking about a Jew who has some problems, like he he gambles, or right? he steals. He still Shabbos Shabbos, but he steals uh, from time to time. Okay. So continue. So it's scriptural, uh, scriptural prohibition as uh, way Kram 1918 states, do not bear grudge <coughs> against the children of your people. 51. Sefer commits on negative commander 305. So, right? Sefer Hakim of uh, 242. Consider this one as one of the 600, Torah 613 mitzvahs. So, meaning, uh, bearing grudge, like have this feeling about uh, uh, against someone. So as we see, it's a Torah prohibition. So it's it's like a eating pork. So what, why would I like willing because of this guy? So he, he, he's low life. I agree, he's low life. But why would sh should I go to the bad place and be responsible for for transgressing this uh, this prohibition? Yeah? You understand? Like in my mind, it does not make any sense. Right. Uh, even though I still give him the hammer or whatever, right? Uh, I doubt it's mitzvah, a uh, mitzvah to run Avera. So do I at least get the mitzvah of chesed? Do I at least I get the mitzvah of tzedakah for giving him my, um, you know, well, my... Well, 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 sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't get the, the first part. Why, why send uh, Avera? You, uh, you still gave it to him, no? Well, I agree with you, but I'm saying it might be bearing a grudge since I gave it to him. Uh, but, that, but, that, but that's the point where... What, uh, I mean, what, what Ram, uh, Ram, Rambam is, is going to, to say further, you have to give it with a free heart. That's it. I mean, I have to give. I, 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 otherwise, that's what I just said. You, it's like eating pork. Why would I get aware because of this guy? If I already want to give it to him, why would I lose? Uh, why would I still get aware? I don't understand. No, I, I agree with you. But I'm saying, is it all one part, meaning is the whole thing one of error? Or does he get one mitzvah for doing chesed for giving the, him the hammer and one okay. of the hero for being a grudge? So okay. does oh, so it's one mitzvah, one of the um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if chesed was one of the 613 mitzvahs. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think so. Maybe it's a, it's a part, it's, it's a, like a part of some specific mitzvah, but not like separate mitzvah. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. At least I, maybe I'm wrong. But, but this is very grudge, 100%. So why, why would you trade in? They take take two mitzvahs to do, do, do chesed and do not bear in grudge. You understand? Of course, we're not, uh, there is no mitzvah to be stupid, right? So if, if the, you, you, I gave this glue one time, let's say this person is a Jew, and to twice, and I, I, I see that he ruins my items, I'm, I'm not uh, obligated to, to be fool. You understand? So I, it's like, Wasting on my money, but uh, if it's small amount, uh, I can I can swallow. I I, I should do that much. Sorry. So okay, bearing a grudge is a very uh, easy thing to do, like meaning like to actually bear a grudge, especially if somebody does you wrong. Let's say okay, so it's obviously a sin to bear a grudge. You're not supposed to do it, especially against a Jew. But let's <laughs> say like okay, you bear a grudge, but. Deep down, you don't want to bear a grudge. You just can't help it. You're just holding on to it. And you haven't worked through it yet. So, like, let's say by the time you work through it, it's like a month or two. Like, so that whole two months, you're like bearing a grudge. Those two months, it's a whole sin. Or like, 
like we're not like at that level we're like oh that's it i'm just gonna let it go like i'm, I'm good mm -hmm. you know it takes time to like kind of work through it you know till you understand like okay what why am i doing it? like this is from hashem this is from hashem you mm -hmm. can say it a million times you don't believe it you know the first time you do it you know so like what are you like committing a sin until you work through it or you know you know i'm trying to say like it's I, I, I i know exactly what you're trying to say and don't think that that you you're, you're the only one in this situation and all of us uh, <laughs> don't have this issue I understand. Yeah, that's what it's, I'm it's, it's, it's one of the it's uh, not very grudge it's one of the hardest things the way i i see it and my, my from my personal experience uh, to to do the don't think it's uh, it's such a thing easy but but uh, you see my my approach you see i, I i'm, I'm I'm going to repeat because this thing worked for me. This explanation, this reasoning works for me. Well, what is the reason? That I'm going to get punished for this. So it's one of the 613 commandments not to do it. So this guy is not no, not good guy. No good, Nick. You understand? So why should I be punished for his not being good? You understand? So of course it, it takes time on one hand. But if you know that this is a poison, whatever they say. Uh, by the way, uh, your wife say, you, you know, I, I was, uh, I was, uh, I don't know, some, some bad thing, uh, like uh, some poison uh, went to one of the cups. Are you going to drink it? I said, maybe I, 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 I'm taking, I'm going to take a little sip because, I, no, no, you're not going to drink it, period. You're not going to drink it. You're going to pour out from all of the three, three cups. You understand? So if, if you know that something, something is poisonous to you, and Hashem said it's, uh, it, it should be considered one of the 613 commandments, so why would you do that? You understand? It's, it's a self-destructive. Hmm. You understand? As, as, especially as, as you said, like uh, it, 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 it takes a month. And I understand. I, I also sometimes uh, I, I maybe I, I make it look easy, but it's not easy for me also. Right? Uh, but uh, uh, I think uh, that just if, if you switch your attention from that person, from what, what he did to you, to other people, and there is so much pain in the world, right? So there's uh, some, so many things going on in the world. And uh, instead of like uh, dealing like emotionally with that person, maybe you can help somebody else. Maybe just, just talk nicely to somebody. Somebody is going through a hard a hardship in his life. Just uh, give him a like, his look, talk, talk to him for five minutes. Then you understand. So don't 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 spend your energy on somebody with uh, all of these negative traits. So put your uh, I know, energy with somebody who needs you, who, where, where you can like uh, do do something something constructive with your time, constructive with your energy, instead of uh, bearing grudge and be punished. Work on yourself and plus be punished. It's not. It's not. I, I like for me. It's a lose lose situation, especially. I, I don't get any benefit. I don't have any pleasure, and it's be because this law of life. <laughs> that's uh, that's my approach. Okay, go ahead. What, what do you have to say? No, I'm. I'm gonna, you know, I'm it's, gonna try. It, it's just. It's just. You don't want to because you know it's wrong. You know it's wrong. You know. Yes. And it's just like, okay, you don't want to, but your body is still your body. Your body yeah. reacts to like a certain way because it's just, maybe it's used to it or maybe that's just the normal reaction that you faced. But now that, you know, you're, you're taking this route of, you know, going in Hashem's ways, maybe it's not as easy, you know, you're still training yourself to do these things, you know, and avert your attention. Sure. At that moment, yeah. you committed the sin no matter what because you held the grudge, right? There's nothing you exactly. can do. Exactly. You just do chuba exactly. for it, right? And then exactly. slowly exactly. work through it. Nobody said it's easy, but but we, we have to remember what uh, da David Hamelach also said. So he said it's not from him, for, from Shimi the Gera when he started cursing him and throw stones. It's it's from Hashem. Well, why you why why should we upset with this guy? So uh, actually, opposite, you have to analyze your situation and we. The next uh, book that, that I'm, uh, I want to learn is uh, Hilchas Teshua. So Rambam said, you have to analyze the situation. Hashem was upset with you for whatever reason. He sent you this guy to upset you even more, right? Whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not be between him and you. Like, uh, it's not. It's, not, it's uh, between you and Hashem. So instead of being angry with, 
at him. You have to be angry at yourself. Why still you, you didn't figure out what Hashem wants from you? Or you, you, if, if he did, okay. So this guy's out. He was a vessel. Through him, Hashem uh, uh, delivered you that um, letter that, that he's not uh, happy with you. And that's it. It's like he's like a mailman. Yeah. But but the mail did not come from the mailman. The mail came from uh, from uh, from different source. He's a, he's just a messenger. Okay. He 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 chose to be a messenger for something negative. He's going to get punished. That's uh, there's no no question about it. Yes, David. Okay. Why do we say that when someone does something bad to you, you shouldn't be upset? But when he does something bad to someone else, you should be upset at him. You shouldn't be happy with him, and so on and so forth. Could you could you please repeat the question? When someone does something not good to you, you should not yeah. be upset because Correct. you're from Hashem. But yeah. if he does something bad to someone else, you should be upset at him, right? Because okay, so one uh, one one simple explanation is that uh, uh, the honor and the financial success of our colleagues of our fellow Jews should be as dear to us as our own. So if we, if somebody of, of like uh, they did something like uh, disgrace other 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 persons, so, so you you should get uh, upset that uh, another child of Hashem got uh, got uh, disgraced. You understand? But how how for ourselves that that's the right approach. For others, you know, you go like a different route. But what's it called? What if you're also a child of a shaman? You have uh, any, any? No, doesn't work that way. You, like, uh, I tell you what, uh, um, personal story, when, when I, I was little, right? So I was arguing with my sister, she was older than me. And my mother was always say, like, she, she would look, look at my sister and said, somebody have to be smarter. Somebody have to start the argument. So she never looked at me. You, know, you understand? So they, there is, I was little, right? So there was nobody to talk to. So that, that's, and uh, later on, like when I understood what she meant, I got very upset. Like she didn't even try to talk to me. Maybe I should give up the, the toy to give it all to my sister. You, know? you understand? So I think it's the same situation. Okay, he does not understand, but I, I'm grown up. I understand. That's Hashem is talking to me. Okay, so let's try to continue. I, I want to finish today. Sorry. So let's, uh, let's try to continue. And, uh, unless the, the, the questions are on the topic. Let's hold in the, till the end of the class. Okay. <clears throat> what is meant by bearing a grudge? Ruin asks Shimon, uh, rent me the, uh, this house, uh, rent this house to me, or lend this ox to me. And Shimon was not willing to do so. A few days later, Shimon, uh, Shimon came to borrow or rent uh, something from him. Ruin told him, here it is, I'm lending it to you, I'm not like you, nor I'm uh, paying you back for what you did to me, but for, for what you did. 52, and we're going to explain. Here as well, the Sifra prephrases this example with a question. How far does one, does the prohibition against bearing a grudge extend? Implying this is extreme example. So in my mind, like if you already decided that you're going to give uh, whatever you give it to him, So if, if you already uh, uh, said, why would you lose the mitzvah? Like, it's so, it's, it's so stupid, right? You, you decide, I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to lend them this house or whatever. So that's it. Just do it. Okay. So it's 52. Continue. A person who acts in this manner, while there's the prohibition against bearing grudge, instead of doing so, he should wipe the matter from his heart and never bring it bring it to, to his mind. So whatever we said before, it's actually Rambam uh, codified this as, as a halacha. It's not like uh, that's what we have to do. No, no, it's must. It's a halacha, 53. Uh, here Rambam gives us ideal example of ethical development. Not only does the person control expression expressions on undesirable emotions, he wipes the negative feelings from his heart entirely. That's it. So it's not there. So he, he affronted me, but uh, okay. I'm going to lend it to him without any comments. So if he would keep quiet for two seconds, just smile, 
So this smile would bring him a lot of good and this comment uh, brings him a lot of bad. As long as he brings the matter to mind and uh, remembers it, there is a possibility that he will seek revenge. Right? So I'm going to read again and explain. As long as he brings the matter to, to mind and remembers it, uh, there is a possibility that he will seek revenge. That's, uh, that's what uh, Moshe was uh, actually, actually asking, right? So if, if the guy, I apologize. If, if the guy is it, constantly on, on your mind, so it might be. There is no guarantee. If you work on it, Hazak Baruch. But uh, there is a still possibility that uh, you might get to, to seek revenge. Why? Because maybe the opportunity comes. You understand? So that's, uh, that's the thing. Um, therefore, the Torah condemns holding the grudge. Right? 54. The Rambam statement uh, shed light on the question disguised uh, by, by the rabbis. Uh, does each mitzvah hate, uh, have a self-contained purpose? Or the mitzvahs, um, or, or the other mitzvahs, which exist only as a safeguard to, to prevent the transgressions of more serious prohibitions. See, like a tov. Okay. The Rambam statement uh, here clearly in, um, indicates that he accepts the latter position, meaning what that one one is going to bring uh, to you to the another. Right. So let me read again and. And we say, do the mitzvah have a self-contained purpose? Only mitzvah and that's it. Or uh, the mitzvahs exist only to safeguard, to prevent the transgression of more serious prohibition. I, I'm, 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 I'm not sure why, why we have to say this or this, either or. It could be, both of them could be, right? Uh, the answer. As, as a self-contained mitzvah, as a plus, prevent you from for going to step further, further. Okay, so one more time, the sentence. The Torah condemned the holding a grudge, requiring one to wipe the wrong from his heart entirely without remembering it at all. 55. To the extent that one feels the same way to a person who wronged him as one uh, or to any other individual. <laughs> to say that it is easy is an uh, understatement or overstatement. I don't know. So uh, for me, like uh, not, not to have grudge, but uh, like in. in even like if you have this uh, bad feeling, I, 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 want, I, want, I want to stay away from this guy. So that, that's already a problem. On another hand, like my, my personal solution, right? So I, I want to like, I want to associate with good people. So if I associate with good people, so I'm not obligated to associate myself with all other people. So in this case, it's not clear that uh, I, I try to avoid somebody else. That's my personal like approach. Okay, the last sentence. This is the proper quality which permits a stable environment. So otherwise, people would hate each other, like uh, in all of this country that uh, countries like I don't know that they kill each other, uh, like after many vendetta, right? Of the many generations, it's like crazy. Um, stable environment, trade, and commerce to be established among people. So let's read commentary. Human nature, uh, human nature being. What it is, it is a natural for people um, that people will say or do things that will upset each other. So that's like um, many times, why would you make, make this, um, this uh, comment? Like uh, sometimes we have to work with this, with a, with a show and bias case. And, and the guy said like, when she, when she repeated what, what he said, I went, whoa, whoa, you normal? Like, why would you say that? Why, why? You understand? So um, many times, uh, if, if we keep our mouth shut, it would be like uh, the world <laughs> would be a better place, right? If everyone, were, um, if everyone were to take revenge and hold grudges, we would soon be faced with a continuous uh, see seesaw of a negative feelings, and um, that would prevent the creation of the stable social. Framework. So basically, everybody would be against everybody, and uh, it would be mission impossible. Let's like what happened. Okay, okay. continue. Um, um, the Rambo begins Hilchot Diot with a directive for the development of one's own per personality and concludes with guidelines regarding a relationship with others. <laughs> the two are in uh, interdependent. 
the only way a person is able to develop a, a viable and a meaningful relationship with others is when he works on developing his own character. So basically before, so we started, it's very interesting. So the, the Ramam started, Rambam started uh, with Hilchot Diot, work on, on yourself, fix yourself. And when you fix yourself, so you, then you can, only then you can have a meaningful relationships with others. So many, prob, many, many times the problem is with us, not with the other person. Uh, conversely, a person who cannot um, concentrate solely on self-development. So now, I mean, I mean, he, he, in his eyes, he's perfect, or in her eyes, she's perfect. So now, now like, it's everybody's fault, eh? so the wrong. And ignore his ties to his others. Okay, it is a, um, it is a fusion of both self-development and social interaction that mm -hmm. constitute the middle path. Right, uh, between the, like uh, uh, fixing ourselves and uh, like uh, going in the middle path with others, the path of God, the heritage which Abraham transmitted, um, transmitted to his descendants throughout the generations. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, the way we have to live. And the last uh, blessing it says, "Bless is the merciful one who grants assistance." So there's a lot of shame. We finish uh, the book and I'm moving my bookmark to the next book. Okay, so now any questions on any topic, please go ahead. Israel, yes, you were quiet for a long time. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so I, I have a question. It's another topic. Uh, it's a sin to, to cause a plan to die? A plant uh, is a sin to go. I mean, uh, if uh, what what kind of plant? Like in, in your house or outside? Uh, yes, the example is this. The other day I was trying to, I didn't know that if you, you have not uh, proper care with the roots, uh, especially the, the final roots, which are very thin, and you, you, you transplant this plant to a pot and the plant dies and this plant uh, dies. So mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know if it's a thing to hurt uh, um, vegetation. Okay, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think it's, it's a sin for, first of all, it was not intentional. You really didn't intend to, to die. I mean, uh, uh, these things, I, I, I would not call them the sin, but it, maybe it's like bad character traits. When, when so some people like they have a special children, they uh, uh, mostly children, or uh, they, they like uh, destroy it, destroys that they have to like uh, step on flowers and kick, kill the bugs and stuff like that. So it's not proper, but I would not call it a sin. No, if if it would be animal, yes, there is a, there's a separate prohibition that we can we are not allowed to cause uh, the pain to animals, even to bugs, even to I don't know like mosquitoes. No. So you, you want to kill it because uh, because of danger, because it bothers you? Okay, just kill it. That's it. Okay. Um, well. the, other, the other question was um, if um, I, I, I had uh, I, I, I don't <laughs> I, I, I pass next because I, I have uh, write, wrote down and I don't find the question. Okay, no problem. So the Okay, anybody else? Okay. Yeah, let's say there's a person, right? Because a lot of times we say with Kiru, but he's not listening, don't don't try anymore. Done, right? But what if this no, person... I'm not, I'm not sure. Why, why, why? I mean, uh, give, give person some time. So after some time, you can try again. I hear, I hear. But, but let's say you know for sure he's not going to listen, right? But... You, you never know for sure. Never, never, never for sure. Never. <laughs> Understood. But let's say, okay? But you know, in like 10, 15 years, he's going to regret everything he did. And so he's going to do tshuva. Should you still uh, talk to him, even though he's not going to keep Shabbos anytime soon? And like you're going off this 50-50 chance that, you know, he's going to do tshuva later on? I mean, if it does not take, take too, too much of your time. So to this case, in, the, in this case, I would send on a link from time to time, right? For example, this new video, and that's it. But with other people that uh, 
uh, that, that you, you feel that they, he's more open to what, what you're saying, so I would spend more time. So you have to like uh, manage your time where, where you see like uh, the, the, this, uh, your efforts are more productive, so invest more time. If it's not productive, so uh, uh, like invest mi minimal time. If you like just forward whatever, one, once a week, well, once in two weeks, one in three weeks, once a month. You saw the video, just forward it to him, that's it. Understand? So because time is is everything. I mean, uh, me personally, I have like lack of time. I cannot finish anything. Like, uh, and all, always under pressure. So, but but if somebody needs my attention, needs my help, I'm going to give them hundred percent of time that I I don't have. But others like just to, to waste of my time. They some some people just to like like to socialize. They like to talk. Okay, if they if they're not uh, planning to to be a good Jew, right? Or, or what I was some like. Uh, uh, righteous person, right? Righteous, no hide. Why would I waste my time just because uh, he wants or she wants to talk to somebody? Go talk to I don't know. Go go to go to a different place. Find somebody else. You understand? So that's uh, that. That's my personal approach. Okay. Any anything else? No. Okay. Uh, I have, yeah. I have a question. Say it again. Uh, the, the, are tools MOOCs for shovels, for example, the screwdrivers, wrenches, and the like? So, okay, so uh, Israel is asking about MOOCs. So MOOCs are some things that are not allowed to, to be moved on shovels. So flyers, okay, so the, it's, it's, it's a big topic. I'm, I'm planning to cover it from the beginning to the end. But since uh, like it's uh, late, so I'm gonna give you like only summary, summary about what you asked in general, right? So the, there is some uh, object the, that um, the prime primarily use is not for shabbos, but it can be used for shabbos. So the, the screwdriver, for example, uh, it's it's primarily used to screw the screws, right? So it's not for shabbos. But sometimes you can use it for shabbos. You can open nuts. Right? If you have these big nuts, so you can do it from from the bottom. And like uh, use a screwdriver instead of knife or whatever you use. And so, so there is some some shovels use. So in this case, it's uh, in the second category. It's not moved. So. Same same with uh, with a hammer. So you can uh, uh, crack the nut with a hammer if you want. Uh, so it's allowed to uh, to do that with uh, with with a hammer to. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if 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 you want to do with hammer, do with hammer. With hammer. Uh, yeah. On showers, you can. On showers, yes. On showers, hundred uh, percent. And the the final question for today is, uh, at least for me, is if you are allowed to walk on 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 tall grass or short grass on showers. It was not clear, very clear for me. The, the okay, last time. All right, all right, all right. so okay, that, that's a good question. So so what what is the difference between uh, short grass and tall grass? Uh, the the tall uh, the, the uh, let, let, let's start with is a thing. The short grass, the short one, right? It's it's very soft. So even if you step on it, it it's a more most likely you you're not going to break it. But but the tall uh, the 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 tall grass is is not that soft, so it's easy to break it. You understand? So that's uh, that's what the the issue of uh, breaking the the grass. So it's milah of. Uh, I would say reaping maybe, even if it were, 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 it was un, unintentional. That's the thing. Okay. Any other questions? Anybody? Okay. So, all right. Thank you very much. So, until tomorrow, is that the same uh, same time? אני מברך את הרבנים, הרב ירון ראובן, 
רב אפרים כחלון, ראשי ארגון בעזרת השם. שהלכו בפי עליון, שעלו מעלה מעלה, יהיה להם ברכה והצלחה. הקדוש ברוך הוא ימלא בלשונות ליבם, לטובה ולברכה. שבכל מה שיפנו, ישכילו ויצליחו. יזכו עוד לעשות כאלה וכאלה. הודיעו תורה לאדירה, אמן ואמן. אז אם בעזרת השם רשת בכל הארץ, הוא היהודי הזה, הוא היה מיליונר, סגר את כל הביזנס, אמר אני משקיע פה בעולמה של תורה. איפה הוא גר? בפלורידה. פלורידה, איפה זה פלורידה? באמריקה. כן, ליד. אנחנו שם עכשיו הולכים להקים קהילה ספרדית. חזק אותו בשביל. קהילה ספרדית גדולה. תעביר לו מה שבירכתי אותו. כן, קהילה ספרדית גדולה.